Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video and I hope you guys are all doing good. So today I'm going to show you guys what's uh, in my makeup tray today, what's on my face. It's going to be really easy and simple. I've already done my eyes and I've used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pro Made in Ebony. This is the NW40 Concealer under the eyebrows. I'm trying to tweak them a little bit different now to make them kind of suit my face. Um, I've got my lashes on and these are from... Um, uh, Dell whispers and I got these from Amazon. I buy them there all the time um, And on my face, I do have the Smashbox photo finish primer. This is all I have on the face so far um, I went in with the um, Urban eyeshadow primer potion. So before I actually did that I went in with the Bare Minerals original. This is a warm dark. This is a powder foundation this powder foundation is way too dark for my skin and to tell the truth it's becoming a bit annoying now where you just um, can't seem to find your, your shade of foundations but I figured rather than just um, making a big fuss about it which I wish I should but I thought let me just use this as a base for my for my eyeshadow so after I put uh, my primer pusher on I just basically set it with this powder and the only eyeshadow that I'm actually wearing today is from Urban Decay and this is called Spike I love this eyeshadow. It's like a beautiful orangey, very, it looks a little lighter on screen, but it's a deep um, orange shade and it's called Spike. I hope you guys can see that. Okay, it's called Spike. And that's all I have on my eyes today with my falsies. Um, I use the uh, black eyeliner here and I got this from Wish.com a long time ago very very soft black eyeliner and then I went in with the brown just to give a little bit of a highlight so it really wasn't anything too crazy but everything that I use so far um, on my eyes would be listed in the description box for you so I'm going to be doing some highlighting today using this revolution highlighter my shade is uh, C12 I actually got two of them C12 and C13 Okay, did a wonderful review on this product and I decided to go run to the store and I grabbed these two So I figured let me get the C13, but I'm gonna be trying to C12 today And like I said, I've already got my primer on my face um, So I'm probably gonna do a little bit of color correcting and this is of course a peach luster for Mac And I'm going to be using my pro foundation Sephora uh, brush to put this on I'm not gonna be putting on too much stuff on my face because I do like to have I mean I don't have perfect skin believe it or not I don't but um, people assume that I do have perfect skin but I don't have perfect skin um, but usually um, I just like to put a little bit of a coverage on and but I always like to have my imperfections showing I don't like to have everything completely covered up because to me it's gonna look too cakey and I've got oily skin I'm 53 and I really don't want to feel like my skin is too clogged up, you know what I mean? So this really helps to um, basically balance my skin tone, I would say. Okay. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the forehead. And down to the side of my face. So how are you guys doing? Is everybody okay? You guys are all well? hope this year started off pretty good for you guys okay so and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same brush but I'm also gonna use you know you know what though guys my makeup routine is so boring it's the one of the most boring things you ever watch on YouTube it's my makeup routine because you know I keep going back to the same things all the time and I just can't seem to get rid of my mad uh, products for some reason this is the NC 50 cover-up um, from Mac um, I mean, I know there are so many different brands out there and stuff like that, but, um, and I am not going to go buy everything because everybody has it, you know, I just want to be able to work with what I've got because I'm not trying to keep up with the Joneses here. Okay. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to put a little bit of this under my eyes and this is really going to help to cover up or basically camouflage those dark spots any dark circles under my eyes I love this this really really helps to balance your skin out and simply remove all of the dark circles from under your eyes see that it's completely gone I love this product okay so I think this should be just about it for 
my concealer. Okay. So, and again, everything that I use on my face would be listed in the description box for you guys. So the foundation I'm going to be using is the Fit Me Foundation from Maybelline, and this is in the shade Coconut. Now, I find it's really, really difficult to find this uh, stick foundation here. I actually got this from Amazon, because um, when I was living in Canada, you go to Walmart, you would find this a lot, although it's going to be always sold out. But this is my shade, it's Coconut, and I love this foundation, perfect match for my skin. So I'm going to be using this uh, foundation brush from Gosh. Um, no, it says Mineral Powder 007. Well, I'm going to be using it as a foundation brush anyways. Okay. So let's just start to apply this foundation. And again, this is from Maybelline and it's um, Coconut. This is a stick foundation. And in, as you notice, this has a uh, red undertone and I think anything with red undertone always fits my skin. So I, if you see me looking here, I do have my mirror on my ring light. Okay. Just in case you, you think it is a, what the hell are you looking at? Okay. So do you see how nicely that's blended into my skin? I mean, I didn't even put too much of an effort into this. It's just blended right into my skin. So one of the things I want to do this year is try out different brands of foundation. I mean, I know I have never tried anything from Giorgio Armani or from YSL or some of these people, but you know, these foundations are quite expensive and I'm not about to go broke, but I want to be able to try some of these foundations as well. So we're just going to go in and finish putting this all over my face. Now this is a full coverage foundation and it's quite buildable. So you can build this up as much as you can. But you know, knowing me, I just like to put very little on my face. And I love this brush as a foundation brush. I'm not quite sure why it says powder, but it works perfect for my foundation. So we're just gonna do a little bit up there. And I don't even have to blend this into my hairline because it blends so beautifully and it matches my skin to a T. Because usually I would take another brush and basically go up into my hairline, but I don't really have to do that today because like I said, it really blends in nicely on my skin. That is looking really good. To me it is. Okay. So while we just waiting a moment or two for that to get kind of a settle in, I'm going to try to work with this C12 highlighter. Like I said, I'm not a highlight person, but when I saw Oge did the review on this, I thought, please run to the store to get it. This is a revolution brand and um, I got this from Superdrug and this was four pounds and change. So C12 is the lighter shade because of course whenever you're doing highlighting you have to always go lighter like everybody already knows that. So let me just do, oh the dofa looks pretty good. That's the dofa right there. It's quite thick and let me just see if I can do a swatch. Oh my god this feels really soft. That's really, ooh, really nice. So let's just um, go in and see how this is going to work. Ah, this feels like butter. Whoa. Let me just try and come down the nose here and see. Ah, my goodness. So we're just gonna go blend that out. goodness this is really soft did you see that oh and it dries pretty fast too that is wicked let's just go in on the other side and see this this um, highlighter is really really soft oh my god Okay, you were not kidding when you said this is a soft highlighter. So 
we're just gonna blend that out and let's just try to come um, down the middle of my face a lot of you guys do this right I know you do this all the time so let me just um, blend this out it is a really nice highlighter it's very soft so I'm just gonna use my Sasha buttercup powder and a beauty blender and we are going to set this baby I mean this Sasha buttercup powder is such a fly away oh my god Ooh, this is this is nice I have never done this before guys really I mean highlighting is good though right? because it, it really doesn't make your face look too flat if you just don't sort of uh, highlight your face I know Patrick Starr is one of those uh, YouTubers who just bakes the hell out of his face. Oh my god. I mean, his makeup is always looking on point. So I'm just gonna let this sit for a few minutes and then we're gonna come back and finish up the look. So I think we've baked long enough, so I'm just going to remove this now. This is very nice, guys, really. It's very, 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 very nice. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to use this powder. It's MW48 from MAC, from MAC. It's a darker powder. So I want to be able to give my face a little bit of shape right now. Okay, so I got a little bit of color back into my skin. So I'm just going to use this powder brush from Pumi by Lyric, and this is uh, my Laura Mercier powder and I really want to bring this look all together, okay? So this is looking so much better um, because I use a darker powder just to give my face a little bit of a shape and the Laura Mercier powder really helps a balance everything and bring it all together and I do love the highlighter a lot this is a wonderful 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 highlighter so now I'm gonna go in with this elf uh, blush duo and I'm gonna put some color um, on my cheeks let me just remove the plastic for you guys and these are the shades right there this looks a little creamy but it's, it's not creamy it's like a peachy color and this is a much deeper shade right there so I'm just going to put a little bit of something on my cheeks. Yeah, just right there, just to give myself a little bit of color. So this is not looking too bad right now. So we're just gonna go work on the lips and this is a lip balm that I got from Primark. And of course, my Davis Michaels Reddish Brown Lip Liner. I love this lip liner from Davis Michaels. It's so universal. Anybody can wear this shade. So I'm going to be going in with this liquid lip liner. And I think I got this from Superdrug. Um, it's one of the MUA Luxe uh, brand. Um, it says Velvet Lip Liqueur. And this shade is called Reckless, so we're gonna go put this on right now. Before I do that, let me just do a quick swatch for you. It's a lovely red, ooh, nice. Look at that red right there, my friends. That is, ooh, that is really, really nice. Very, very rich looking. So let's see how this is going to look. Yes, people, yes, this is, this is talking to me right now. This is a beautiful red matte lipstick. And I don't think I have to put any more on because it looks really, really good. And I don't even think I need to use my lip brush for this one. 
So I think I'm done with this makeup look right now. I just kept it really, really, really simple. Um, I can even make this a Valentine's Day look if I want because I think it's it can go there. The highlighter from Revolution C12 is just life. Um, okay, you were right when you said this is a really soft concealer and it's really soft on my skin. And I use my powder to just balance everything out because I didn't do any sort of uh, contouring on my face. It may look good, it may not look good, I don't know, but I'm going to try that one of these days. But I think every time I do my makeup now, I'm going to be doing some highlighting under my cheeks. It looks so, so, so awesome. Let me know your thoughts, my friends. Tell me what you think. Do you think it's a good makeup? Do you think I do a good job? I'm 53 years old, and I still want to be able to maintain some, some class and some sass. You know what I mean? So leave me a comment in the description box, my friends, uh, below. Everything that I use on my face is going to be listed there as well. My name is Odette. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of you, and I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye.